hello guys and welcome back to today's video it's always a girl cynthia today's video i'll be talking about how you can migrate to canada with your family i'll be talking about a newly introduced program in the province of alberta this program is about the tourism and hospitality sector now they're giving opportunity to anyone on that particular sector and of course a lot is in, is entailed on that particular sector they have a lot of things those are working in the, in the hotels hotel receptionists drivers a lot of opportunities are on that particular stream i'll be showing you the jobs the occupations and the knock codes that fall under this particular stream this opportunity is open to those outside canada and those still within canada so if you know you're in canada with a tourist visa this is a great opportunity for you to apply for work permits if if you go through this stream now you can now apply for change to work and uh, work permits in canada but if you're outside canada then you have to go through the other process i'll be listening out in this video so this is why you have to watch this video to the end so you get all the whole information so you don't miss out on anyone at all the provenance of alberta recently introduced this tourism and hospitality program to enable all those in this sector coming to alberta now it's open other provinces in canada also have opportunities for different sector different professions so guys try and look into anyone that comes your way like i said earlier this program allows you come to canada with your family and for you to partake in this program you will have to get a job under the listed employers that participating in this stream in this tourism and hospitality program there are employers under this already so you have to get an employment from an employer under this stream that is currently residing in alberta and you have to show your commitment that you're going to be living in alberta for two years of course i know you'll be staying in alberta for two years we get this opportunity and then let it go off like that so they just want to know that you want you're going to be staying in alberta for two years also you have to have a minimum of four in the in the language proficiency test either in english or in french of course four is something attainable because we have four sections in the proficiency test and that's of course you can make a four just believe in yourself and give it a try the test of course shouldn't be more than two years it's something you should have taken within two years it shouldn't pass two years so it will be valid for this particular program also you need to get this employment by from somebody from an employer within um, alberta when you're offered this employment then the offer letter that i'll be giving to you is what you will take to the canadian emb embassy along with your passport your police clearance your your health insurance and a proof that you're healthy that's like a medical certificate to show that you're healthy take it to the embassy and then apply for your visa you're going to be issued a visa that will enable you to get into Canada. You live in Canada for like two years. After the two years, you can now apply for your permanent residency. Guys, this is a very great opportunity. I will show you the list of occupations under this stream, show you all you need to know, the requirements, and of course, the employment you should be getting should be employment that is something that gives you the permanent, an employer should. The employer should give you an employment that is about 30 hours per week. That is a permanent contract. That is when you're going to be eligible for this particular program that is currently ongoing in Alberta. It just recently got opened on the 1st of March. So that's a story that is still very fresh, fresh guys. So please go ahead and start doing your application. You, I will show you what you need to do. And of course, before we leave this video today, guys, I, I really want to plead with you guys to please just tap on the like button there. That is all I'm asking from you. I'm not asking for any form of fee. All I do on this channel, I do with my free heart and I'm happy doing this because I know I will be granting a lot of people their wishes through my videos by them just landing their dream country, just migrating to anywhere they want to go to. That will be my greatest desire. And I'll be very happy if some of you come back to let me know that yes, you achieved what you're looking for through my channel guys so please just tap on the like button to encourage me and to also make youtube and um, recommend these videos to all those looking for how to migrate to canada i want to say thank you very much to my returning subscribers i love you all so much and i know someday you're going to achieve your dreams and i'm going to hear that testimony from you and for those just passing by just stop by and tap on the subscribe button there turn your notification bell so you don't miss out any video i'll be doing i'll be dropping on this channel and please just tap on that like button 
it's free of charge it's not you're not paying for it guys so please just go ahead and tap on that like button to encourage me to do more because i would always do research for you so relax stick on this channel and you always always get updated on any current means you can migrate abroad guys let me show you all you need to see and all you need to know and of course I'll drop some links in my description box where you can also apply for jobs. This will make it easier for you. There are jobs everywhere. Just know there are jobs everywhere in Canada. Good luck as you do this. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. So, guys, this is the provenance of Alberta official website. And this is the website for the particular program we're talking about, the Tourism and Hospitality Program. This is it. On this this website, I'm going to be seeing the requirements, the employers, the occupations that are eligible for this particular program, and all you need to have your language proficiency. Everything will be shown here. You see, I said at the time the application is submitted, at the time the AAIP assessment, your application, your Alberta employer's primary business activities more belong to an eligible industry as defined by the WCB, which is which is the workers' compensation board in Alberta. He has, he has it's going to be showing you the codes and the jobs avail available. So you can see here, this is a list of the WCB industries, museum and art galleries. You see the sample activities, art galleries, art, everything under this particular museum and art galleries. Art galleries, art museum, operative centers, museums. Talk about zoos and game farms. You have the game farms and zoos, bowling alleys, billiard palace. You can talk about the bowling alleys, alleys the billiard palace, the pool halls, everything on that particular section, golf clubs and ranges. You can see the question of driving ranges, golf courses. So if you have experience all that under all this, then I don't see why you shouldn't apply for this. Ski resorts, you check out here, casino and dance halls, you check out here, arenas slash stadiums, you see, race tracks. Travel agencies and motor association, operations of wildlife, wild wilderness, association, tour guides, tourist promotion. So guys, feel free to come and go through all this. Let's talk about restaurants here. You can see operation of coffee shops, driving restaurants, restaurants, takeout services, bartending services, hotel and convention centers. You talk about here. Operation of bread and breakfast, cabins and motels, convention centers, sports and recreation, property managers, private clubs, Think about the fitness clubs, sporting clubs, gun clubs, private clubs also. So, so we keep going down, you still operate a calling ring, operation of an ice skating ring, operation of a cricket field, operation of a convention bureau, operation of an information bureau, activities is, is defined within multiple DVC industry codes. Promotions, sports and entertainment, professional sports. You see all these, and then if you keep going down, you're also going to see other list of eligible sectors here. Accommodations, now you talk about the hotels. This association, this particular job now is under the Alberta Hotel and Lodging Association, Accommodations to Bread and Breakfast Association, Food and Breakfast, Indigenous Tourism, Recreation and Entertainment, Recreation and Entertainment here too. So keep going down. You see the tourism and hospitality. These are the associations they are under, and they are all eligible for this particular program. That is the easiest way you can migrate to Canada because they're not asking for much, no much work experience. All you need is just to get a job. That's all you need. The language proficiency is even low. Band four in either English or French, which if you put together the four sections in the IELT exam, the speaking, the writing, the listening, and all, the, all that, if you put it together, you must get a band four. So these are the no codes here. Program leaders and instructors on recreation, sports and fitness, see the no code here. Restaurant and food managers, accommodations, service managers, food service, service supervisors, chefs, cooks, bartenders, hotel, front deck clerk, tour and travel guide, guides, outdoor sports and recreational guides. You can see all these guys. Light cleaners, specialized cleaners, janitor, caretakers, and heavy cleaners. Guys, this is like the easiest one I've come across in migrating to Canada. Please don't let this opportunity miss, pass you by. Please just ensure you can to. There's no harm in trying. It's either you get it or you don't get it. Nobody's going to penalize you for even trying. So feel free to go ahead and do this. See, you have to 
ensure the person if the permanent employment is for 30 hours anything lower than this nobody's going to give you this particular stuff and of course you should, you should be paid ensure your earnings life from this so going down again you see here you can check for those that are ineligible after you've gone through this you now know if you qualify to apply for this or not just go to actually go through it then the language requirements you can see here minimum of four for each for each english language skill or for french four so put the four sections together you're going to land yourself if and as an, even if it's, you can even get five just try it out guys and what you have to keep behind your mind is that the IELTS test should not be something you've written five years ago you see it must be less than two years at the time your application was submitted let's say something you you, you say that's still within two years he has not passed two years but has any way they can accept it so guys i don't want to make this video too long just feel free to go to the website i'm going to put in my description box so you understand all you need to do and how you need to go about it but don't forget to give this video a thumbs up guys I go through I go through the stress of researching to get more information on actually on helping you achieve your dreams of migrating abroad. And all I ask for in return just for you to give this video a thumbs up, share with your friends, share with your family members. That's the only way you help this channel to grow. If you really enjoy what I'm doing or you're benefiting something from what I am doing here, just encourage me by just clicking on the share button and also clicking on the like button. Also, guys, this is what I'm asking from you. I don't need any money from you. I'm not asking for any form of payment than just this. If you're a returning subscriber here, I want to say thank you to you and then you're very much welcome here. And of course, I'll keep doing what I'm doing. I derive joy doing this and I'll keep doing it to ensure you achieve your dreams. And please feel free to always let me know if you finally achieve your dreams of migrating abroad through any information I drop on my channel. Feel free to let me know, please. Thank you for all of you just coming by. I know you're going to come back again. I believe you're going to come back again. So feel free to just subscribe and turn the notification bell. And good luck as you do this. See you on my next video. Bye.